Okay, so for this video, we want to talk about 401k rollover contributions into a traditional IRA. So continuing with our example that we've gone through with all the previous videos, we have our taxpayer here, John Q. Taxpayer. And so what we're going to look at now is what if John left a previous job and had a 401k plan with that employer and then rolled those assets into a traditional IRA? How is all that reported? in TurboTax. So obviously we've got the fact pattern in front of us here that you're looking at. And then we've also got uh, the sample um, 1099Rs. Uh, we'll look at that and then the 5498 as well. And then of course we have our TurboTax uh, uh, software here that we will actually walk through how to enter all this information. So if we go back to the slide here just to cover some of the background. Uh, again, this is John Taxpayer. He had a previous job with a different sales company and he left in December 2021. So he started that new job January 2022. Now, with the previous employer, he had this 401k plan and when you leave, you are given the option, a couple of options of what to do with it. One of the most common is obviously roll the money out of the 401k plan into a separately managed account. So John is gonna move or has moved the assets into a traditional IRA that he set up with another custodian. So he coordinated with his previous employer, the HR team, and the new custodian, and he had a direct rollover put through to move those assets from the previous custodian with the 401k plan into a newly created traditional IRA. Uh, and now once that's done, the previous custodian has to issue a 1099-R to John to report the transfer, and then a copy goes to the IRS. So the 1099-R for the 401k retirement plan uh, shows the following information here. So we have gross distribution information, uh, total distribution box is checked, and then we have box seven, we have a code G for a direct rollover amount, right? So let's go look at the actual form and see uh, what we have in front of us. So again, this is the custodian that had the 401k plan. So we got the custodian name, we got the recipient name here, John Taxpayer, and we can see here the, the gross distribution, so the fair market value of the assets that was transferred out was 5,000, $603.25. In box 2B, we have a total distribution mark. So the, the custodian is saying all the money was transferred out and then the account was closed. That's fine. And then the other relevant piece here is in box 7, the distribution code G. Code G means a direct rollover. So a direct transfer from one account to another, right? Rather than let's say a transfer from the custodian to John personally, and then John decides what he wants to do with it thereafter. Now, <clears throat> in addition to this, John also receives a 5498 from the custodian where the new traditional IRA is, right? So the new IRA custodian uh, sends him this type of document. So it's an IRS form 5498 that shows in box two the amount of rollover contributions, and then in box seven, it's marked IRA as just your simple run-of-the-mill traditional IRA. Now, given this information that's John, that John has received, how does he complete his return in TurboTax? And so that's what we're gonna look at. So if we're in the wages and income section, and we scroll down to the retirement plans and social security section, we're going to start to enter information from 1099R. So we have IRA, 401k, pension plan withdrawals, 1099R, right? So this is the section we want to work with. This is where we're, we're going to enter that information from the 1099R and we're going to indicate to TurboTax that it's a rollover. And the reason why that's really important because if you take money out of an IRA or a 401k and you don't have an exemption, it's generally just included in taxable income, right? And we don't want that, right? The, the whole point of this is to try to exclude it from taxable income and any kind of early withdrawal penalties. So did you get a 1099-R in 2022? Yes, we did, right? So you get this form for rollovers, conversions, or withdrawals from any of these accounts. All right, now select your situation to know what to expect, right? So. 
Uh, first time getting a 1099R, uh, you know, I think that's fair. It doesn't have more than one, took money out before retiring, right? And then moved money, moved retirement money, rollover conversion. So now all of these, this is one issue I kind of have at TurboTax is all, this, all these options definitely are true, but we also want to be very careful about prompting kind of unnecessary uh, forms and schedules. So of all of these, realistically what's happened here is, yeah, this is the first time we got a 1099R, but really it's just related to moving money, right? So we had a rollover conversion. This is the most... Uh, accurate now if you check these other ones that's okay uh, it's just going to give you a lot more yes or no questions and things like that so in order to try to expedite this I'm just going to be as precise as possible right we move retirement money from a rollover we didn't take money out before retiring and keep it uh, we don't have multiple 1099s and some none of this other stuff applies so we move the money and here's what to expect so Retirement account transfer. This is known as a rollover or conversion. It could have been done by the retirement provider or yourself. That's true, right? In our case, we did a direct rollover, meaning we had the custodians move the money between themselves together, but it's possible for you to receive the money and then transfer it in, uh, but that is not what we've done here before, okay? So it's just a simple rollover, direct, Get ready to be impressed. Okay, this is a good sign. We'll import your forms directly. Well, we're not gonna be importing the forms directly. So we're gonna to have to manually uh, enter the information. That's okay. This is very similar to the 1099B information. Um, so if you have uh, one of these uh, providers as your custodian, you can log in and it'll import the information directly. But we're gonna just be entering it um, uh, we're going to be typing it in ourselves because these are not real uh, 1099Rs, right? I've just created these for illustrative purposes. So, who gave you the 1099R? We got it from a financial institution. That's fine. Uh, I'll go ahead and click continue. Uh, who paid you? So, the first transfer, if we look at the 1099R, came from this custodian. So, bank name, Inc., uh, obviously, these are not real companies, uh, but Bank Theme Inc. Uh, so let's say you know whatever the address is. Try, try to be as thorough as possible. However, notice that um, none of this information actually gets reported on the return. It, you're just entering it to try to, um, you know, complete the worksheets to make sure uh, the documentation is as thorough as possible. So <clears throat> we'll enter the 1099 provider info. Okay, so here's the real information. So the gross distribution, box one, 5603.25. So we had 5063.25. Taxable amount per the 1099R was zero, right? You'll notice here with the rollovers, they generally just leave a lot of this blank um, when they indicate code 7 distribution is, um, or, or box 7 distribution code is G. So we have 5603.25 in distribution is a total, and then we got box 7 code G. All right, total distribution is checked, right? Distribution code here, we're going down to code G for a direct rollover. Taxable amount, all of these are zeros. Less common items, none of these apply. No state info. Is the IRA SEP simple box checked? No, right, this is a 401k plan, so we don't, they wouldn't be checking. IRA is your traditional IRA. Simple is an IRA, but it's set up through your employer. So it's a tr basically a traditional IRA set up through your employer. And then SEP is self-employed IRA. Uh, so, uh, so three different baskets of different types of IRAs, none of these apply. It's a 401k plan. Did you move this money from a 401k to a Roth 401k? No. So we moved this money from a traditional 401k, but it wasn't transferred into a Roth 401k. It was moved from a traditional 401k into 
a traditional IRA. Do any of these situations apply? Money was being it was from being a public safety officer. No, no substitute 1099 R's. No corrected boxes. Did we move the money into a Roth IRA? No, right. So again, very different rollovers into a traditional IRA. That's what we've done. We've done traditional 401k to traditional IRA. If you move the money from a traditional 401k into a Roth IRA, that is permitted, but the, it's a taxable event, generally a taxable event. But in our case, no, we just moved to a, to a traditional IRA. So the answer is no, that's fine. We agree with that. Do you have more than one 1099R to, an, uh, to enter? No. Okay, here's your 1099R info, that's fine. So we have the custodian here, the distribution. Have you ever taken a disaster distribution? No, so we haven't done any distributions at all. Okay, so here is a recap of all the information we've entered in the wages and income section. This is all fine. So we've got our IRA 401k plan withdrawal entered there. So remember, box seven, code G, direct rollover. We've answered all the questions appropriately. So now what I wanna look at is the return itself and see how this is being reported. Ultimately, what I want is no tax impact, right? This is gonna be reported, but we certainly are paying tax on the $5,600 because it's been rolled over into another account. I haven't kept the money, All right? So John hasn't kept this money yet, so you know he shouldn't have to pay any kind of tax on it. All right, <clears throat> so the first place you see the rollover is generally on page one. So we can see here, uh, page one of the, the tax return, uh, we've got his wages up there, you know, that's all fine. Down here on line five, notice here we have distributions from pensions and annuities. There's the 5600, the 5603, but then in, in line B, so five line, uh, so five A, five B, right? So line five, section B, the taxable amount, this is zero. Right, this is exactly what we wanna see because we have rolled over the amount into another qualified retirement plan. And then they've also very nicely stamped rollover here to indicate that, yeah, you received a distribution of $5,600, but it was rolled over into another qualified retirement plan and there is zero amount of this gross distribution that needs to be included in taxable income. All right, so that's perfect. That's what we want to see on page one. Uh, page, uh, so schedule one, part one, you know, we shouldn't see any entries there because again, we don't have any taxable uh, withdrawals. Uh, this is also really important too, right? So in schedule two, additional taxes, uh, there's generally a line item where they have uh, taxes on early distributions or retirement plans. But uh, in our case, again, we don't have that. So we shouldn't see any entries there. Um, and there shouldn't be any other, I'm just double checking to make sure we don't have any weird schedule being populated, but yeah, you know, we don't, right? So everything looks good. Yeah, this is great. So what we can see here is we've entered the distribution. We've correctly noted it was a rollover, 5,600 bucks rolled over, zero is taxable, perfect. Now, remember, if you have rollovers of traditional to Roth or Roth to, to traditional, then there could be some tax impact because you're changing the character of the retirement account. But if you have a traditional IRA, uh, or sorry, if you have a traditional 401k to a traditional IRA, generally a tax-free event, uh, so there's that zero impact on the, on the year it happens. And then the same thing with Roth. So if you have a direct rollover of a Roth 401k to a Roth IRA, again, also a tax-neutral uh, tax or tax-free event. Different rules apply if you're moving between different categories, right? So very important to keep that in mind. All right, so that covers it for this video. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below and I look forward to seeing you again on the next video. Thank you.